YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. What it do? It is your boy King Kane the Fit Pharaoh coming at you with a video. Guys, today's video is something that I think needs to be done because everybody has been asking about it. Um, especially if you have this specific software. Because what's going on is this specific software keeps crashing and a lot of people are getting pissed off about it because who wouldn't be? Especially I mean, me, I'm, I'm also a little upset about it, too, because I put money into it. And it's a very good program, and it's very user-friendly, but at the same time, it just doesn't measure up to what it's giving you, and it just it doesn't make sense. And, and if you see the title below, you already know what I'm talking about, Pinnacle Studio. Pinnacle Studio is a very good software. I love it. I use it to basically make almost all of my videos. Not every video, but most of my videos. It, In my opinion, if you want to give a ranking... I would say it's the very least of all the good editing video software. That's my opinion. I could be wrong, but that's what I think. I've been using it for like a year now, but the thing is, after I clean out my files and all that stuff, and that probably has nothing to do with it. To be honest, everybody likes to say the OS system, the operating system is what causes it. If you don't keep it clean, that's not true, because I've cleaned it out plenty of times, and it has nothing to do with it. Um, so... And the hard drive and all that stuff so that's that's negative that's false you can clean it out as much as you want if the program is not operating it's because it's just not operating properly um so right now what's going on is i'm in pinnacle studio right now i just opened it up i'm working on a project and the issue i'm having is basically hold on it's basically i can get my videos on there and i can edit them i can do all the stuff i need to do to them but when it's time to export them, it just, it wonks out on me. It's just like, no, it, it makes Pinnacle stop working completely. And I know Pinnacle is known for having, I guess, a buggy program because it's, like I said, it's a very good program. Like I said, I, um, I'm working on a project right now and I got everything edited the way I want to edit. Everything's rendered through. So nothing's waiting to be processed. Everything's fully rendered. So I'm gonna just show you a little clip of it real quick. My best yeah. friends, you are my fucking best. See, it works just fine. Clips are working just fine, all the way to the very end. You know, so please be true to yourself. That was so weird. Anyway, <laughs> King came to fifth run. I'm out. Oh, so weird looking at myself. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so, you know, I'm working on the video, and if I try to export it, which I'm going to show you right now, it, one, it takes forever just to get to that point, and it wasn't doing that before. Okay, now I'm in here, and I'm trying to export. Also, the format that you choose has nothing to do with it either, because I've tried different formats, and the format alone, I mean, I guess it doesn't bother it. There's some things that's going on with it because my videos I'm shooting in are are 60 frames per second, but according to this, the preset details, my videos are being shot in 20, 30 frames per second basically, and that's false. I don't know what the deal is with that. Maybe it's because this is an older version, but this is the one I happen to have right now and been using, and it seems to be working just fine, or it was up until now. So I'm about to hit start exporting. And, you know, you got to make some kind of name for your video, of course. I'm just put V right now for vlog because that's what it was. It was a vlog. And now I'm trying to export. Okay. See, now we're starting to move. It's moving really, really slow. And now it's, now it's coming to a stop, basically. It was never moving this long. This is a very big file. I understand that. But it's never moved this slow ever, and now it's, it's completely stopped. Like last time I did this, it was at it was at six, and I came back like the next day, and it was still at six. So I don't know what the issue is with Pinnacle, but this is a reoccurring thing for a lot of people. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to exit out. Watch when I try to exit out, it's gonna say you know export is still in progress. Would you like to stop it now? I'm gonna say yes. Cancel export. Now if I try to Exit out of uh, Pinnacle. Watch what happens. See, nothing. It's just, I'm trying to close out of it. 
and in a few seconds it's going to pop up and it's going to say NG Studios is not responding. See what I tell you? NG Studios is not responding. If you close the program, you might lose your information. Well, I've already saved my information, so that's fine. So, and then I got to keep dealing with this over and over again. No matter what I do differently, this is the issue that I'm having. So, what I ended up doing, or what I'm still in the process of doing is, in Pinnacle, I'm still over here, look at this mouse if you can still see it, is you go to the question mark over here. I'll probably have to show you. And it gives you information on who to contact, like tech support and all that stuff. It's going to give you the number to go to Coral. And here's my issue with Coral already. And I don't mean to sound racist or anything of that sort. Um, I was uh, on the phone with one of the support, whatever you want to call them, desk manager people. And it was, it was an Indian lady. And, you know, there's still a barrier between my language and hers, apparently. I mean, she understands what I'm saying, but I can't understand her. And being that I'm actually... From a different, well, I'm not from a different country, but I have, you know, I mean, I have a dialect other than English. So, you know, I can understand when somebody doesn't understand me or something of that sort. Um, it made it very difficult to talk to her because then, you know, I'm trying to talk, she's trying to talk and stuff like that. But she, when you call Coral to ask them to help you with the problem, they're going to tell you, they're going to give you a ticket. And once they give you the ticket, oh shoot! And once they give you the ticket, sorry. Once they give you the ticket, they're gonna say you have. They'll give you some response in 24 hours, which isn't good enough because some people have projects that need to be done for school or work or something of that sort. That's kind of what I have to do, and I'm kind of in a dilemma right now because. I have a project for school and I got a few projects for work that need to be taken care of and edited right away and nothing can be done about it it's crazy it's, it's very it's very upsetting actually so you know it's like it puts me in between a rock and a hard spot and they're basically saying nothing can be done so it's like, yo, what's, what's next? That's pretty much all I can give you right now at this point. Once they give me the ticket, I'll give you a walkthrough of what I have to do. And hopefully they'll be able to fix the problem. What she told me was that basically once they give me the ticket, I have to re-download the whole program over again. Hopefully it's not a, a seriously long, ridiculous process. But they're claiming that will fix the crashing and all that problem. So... If it holds true, that's all that has to be done. But who really wants to go through that? So Pinnacle, maybe they've gotten better with Pinnacle 20 and 21. Hopefully they have. If so, I'm going to do a review on it. And I might even get it myself because I like Pinnacle. Pinnacle is a great program. It just crashes way too much. I'm even learning Adobe for me right now because Adobe is the best from what I know. But anyway, that's for another time, another video. Guys, this has been the video. Hopefully, it kind of helped you to some extent. If, if you need more help, obviously, go back into your program, Pinnacle, and try to get a hold of tech support, which is up there in the upper left-hand corner. You click on the question mark, and it will send you the number or online chat or whatever. So, that's basically it. It's not the best information, but it's the only information I can give you right now, and I hope it helped. So anyway, with that being said, guys, King Kane and Fit Pharaoh, sorry it took so long to get to the video, but yeah, that's it. All right, out. Oh.